Now, we've had several conversations in the past about Japan and the encouragement to think about studying in Japan and also taking, thinking of taking up the opportunity to live and work in Japan. But thinking of just studying in Japan for various, uh, in various institutions, many of them older than Kenya itself, and the universities in Japan offering very good courses from whatever science into the arts into the humanities and all that we've uh, previously hosted several uh, professors from various Japanese universities this morning we have another professor from a Japanese university and he's in the studio to talk to us about the prospects and opportunities of studying in Japan professor Masahiro Okumura good morning uh, good morning welcome to Kenya's biggest conversation Thank you. That is the hot seat of the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> so make yourself comfortable. Okay. To yeah. welcome you to the conversation, mm -hmm. C.T. Muga has the day's proverb. Every week he comes up with proverbs. He studies and gets proverbs from a certain African country. Mm -hmm. And then he comes and shares with us the proverbs one per day. Yes. This week the proverbs are from? Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Sierra yes. Leone. Prof, you know where Sierra Leone is? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Have you been there yet? Uh, not yet. Okay. okay. Tell them about Sierra Leone. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is our, our final proverb for this week from the country of Sierra Leone. Sweet rice is eaten quickly. Sweet rice is eaten quickly. Mm -hmm. You're telling a Japanese man about sweet rice. <laughs> Well, I'm going to ask him if there is sweet rice in Japan. <laughs> or what sort of rice they have in Japan. <laughs> no, not, no, it's not uh, very sweet. It's not very sweet. <laughs> Do you like the rice? Yes, very much. Okay. Yes. Um, when you get good rice, what do you consider to be good rice? Ah, good rice. Well done rice. Um, you know, in our rice, uh, our rice is like uh, very sticky, mm -hmm. a bit sticky. Yes. And, you know, the soft, mm -hmm. and that would be good for us, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. How do you prepare your rice? How do you like uh, your rice? What's your favorite rice dish? Uh, rice dish uh, is just, you know, a kind of the, we are, we are using rice as a uh, ugali. Mm -hmm. So, it with, you know, some dishes. So, it's not, uh, you know, it's not, you know. Which one do you like the best? Just, you know, pre plain rice, you know. You like <laughs> plain rice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It, it really nice to itself, itself is very, you know, tasty. Mm. It is, uh, eh? Yes. Okay. Now, this proverb says, sweet rice mm. is eaten quickly. Mm. What do you think the proverb is saying? Um, um, sweet rice is quickly. Is eaten quickly. Is eaten quickly. Yes. yes. So, it's kind of the, uh, the words of Africa. Mm. Yes. yes. Um, it's really difficult for us to translate, you know, <laughs> into <laughs> our our thinking. You mm. know. But tell us what you think anyway. Um, okay, so the good thing, you need to get, uh, grasp mm -hmm. as soon as possible. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. You've uh, got it. Underline that in red. Put a tick, put a hundred, mm -hmm. and then stamp. Stamp it. Wrap it in a gold That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Professor, you... Yes. Uh, director of the Hokkaido University mm. Africa office. Yes. So first, tell us about Hokkaido University and tell us why you need an Africa office. Okay. So um, Hokkaido University is the oldest uh, higher, higher education institute in Japan. We are starting from the agricultural college. Uh, that was like about uh, 1872. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> <laughs> we are, <laughs> so we are, we are now we are one of uh, um, seven uh, national uh, comprehensive universities in Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, for our internationalization, we opened uh, overseas offices. And the first one was in, in Be uh, Beijing. Mm -hmm. Second one is uh, Korea, uh, South Korea. The third one is, is the Finland, mm -hmm. and the first one is in the Lusaka. Mm -hmm. So that's where Africa office is. And an Africa office that is based on the long-lasting collaboration with the University of Zambia and Hokkaido University. So actually, um, when they need veterinary education, which they didn't have, mm. so we sent many professors to start veterinary education, the learn veterinary education, after some time, we accept uh, postgraduate students 
uh, from Zambia to Japan. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, you know, train them and uh, gave them the PhD degrees and send, send them back to Zambia. Mm. Then now it's 100% academic staff of the school of Bethmet is uh, Zambian. Wow. So the, on that, you know, on that you know, long lasting, you know, the collaboration basis, we opened our office because the Africa is uh, one of our target to collaborate and also, you know, have the student exchange. Yeah. Um, I think 2006, seven, eight, uh, we sent our student to school. But I'm actually I'm, I'm a professor in veterinary medicine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we sent our student to Zambia. Then you know, you know, Zambian colleagues mm -hmm. taught you know some specific you know the subject to our student. It's kind of the you know the, both the, next the bilateral exchange. bilateral exchange mm -hmm. we have started. And now you see we are running some you know collaborative research project there also, and uh, that is why we can put you know. Our office in Lusaka, and also you know, we, we found that you know that, that Zambian student. Okay, we can say that an entire uh, student from entire Africa is is very good, you know. So it's in highly potential, mm. high potential they have, mm. and also uh, they have good you know um, language uh, proficiency. Then the language ability, I, mean, I can say. Then you know it means that they can correct you know the scientific I information very easily in comparison with other parts of the world. Mm. So then African students have the, you know, high potential, you know, is a very good student. That is why we want to, to get, get more, more mm. students. Mm. Which courses are you um, concentrating on? That um, more and more students from Africa mm. going to Japan mm. to study. Which courses have you seen that there's a great interest in, or at mm. least you've seen that uh, we're able to mm. to do well and then pick mm. up on that and go into careers mm. in okay. the future? Thank you very much. So um, I I need to explain uh, separately. Mm. Is you know this is my our own uh, program, mm. and also you see and uh, program related to the study in Japan project. Mm. So studying Japan project is under the government. The government, you know, uh, we have more than 700 universities in Japan. Mm. And uh, uh, we have, you know, plenty of, you know, the disciplines. Mm. Uh, so, so then the government uh, push universities to have more and more international students mm. in their institute. Mm. So that is why uh, I think any, 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 subject mm. any any you know disciplines uh, we can accept students and uh, in, the, in terms of us mm. <laughs> now for hokkaido, yes, hokkaido university mm. hokkaido university we have some uh, schools uh, which have very very big interest uh, in african student mm. especially in the in infectious diseases and also the veterinary medicine mm -hmm. and uh, engineering mm -hmm. and uh, uh, agriculture mm. and then economics mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and environmental sciences and those schools have big you know interest mm. Mm. to accept students and is the is the interest to educate mm. a lot of these candidates from africa and then have them go back to their respective countries to start a career what's the center of it what's the interest here educate them and then go back impact your society mm. or to stay in japan and work build a career what are you looking for thank you very much for your question and, and this is also uh, we need to explain separately mm. Mm. you know therefore the government of japan so they would like to accept you know good students from africa then they, you know uh, let them take you know a phd degrees mm -hmm. then uh, they the government wants to uh, them to work more mm. in Japan in Japanese companies okay so but you know the for us you know maybe uh, Nokaido University mm -hmm. then uh, we that depends on the students you know the, the, it's your know, choice it, yes the history mm. indicating that you know we accept uh, surely many students from Africa mm. students from Africa some of them are work uh, study more in the states or other countries and some of them are working with us <coughs> some of them is uh, coming back to their own countries mm. then you know it means that you know our collaborator mm. actually i have three 
Zambian student. Mm, currently. In, uh, currently, uh, no, in, the, in, the, in the history of my, my laboratory, mm. it's not university, okay. it's not school, just my laboratory. It's one went back to Zambia. Then he, he, now he's a um, clinic manager of veterinary teaching hospital. Mm -hmm. Then we are collaborating with many things. With your, with your lab? With the lab. Then second one, uh, she, went, she went back, I think, last year. Then uh, she, she started working there. Maybe in the future we can have the collaborative research. Mm -hmm. Another one is now currently is a student in my lab. Maybe she's going to other country and study more. So, so it's, it depends. Mm -hmm. So, tell us a little bit more about your yeah. lab. Yes, my lab. Yes, yes, tell us a little bit more about mm -hmm. when did it start? What do you do? What are you planning to do? Mm -hmm. And some of the achievements that the lab has has, mm -hmm. has managed to attain. Okay. So, um, actually, I was appointed as the full professor. Yes. That of the head of the laboratory mm -hmm. in 2008. Mm -hmm. Then uh, my laboratory is a laboratory of veterinary surgery. And the surgery, you know, doing surgeries, you know. And animals. And, uh, animals. Mm -hmm. yes. And then um, uh, we are basically at learning and, and researches on the joint diseases and the oncology in animals. Um, then we are, we are handling, you know, the horses and uh, small animals. Mm. Then that research grant is from the racing society. Racing society means horse racing society, mm. and they're collaborating with the um, paper producing company in Japan, the biggest, one of the biggest, you know, uh, paper producing company. Then you know that, you know, the product, you know, we translate, transform mm. into the medicine. Is that is our research. So then we are that you know new new drug, mm. new medicine. Is for is horses. Is for, is for horses mm -hmm. in Mongolia. Then right. we bring them bring them there. Mm. Then we, are, we have the collaborative research in Mongolia. Then we are learning something. And also, we sent it to the Zambia. Then we are testing now. Then we sent it, sent it to the Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. uh, they, are, they are, you know, using, you know, some, some research project. Why did you decide to focus on horses? Um, this is my interest. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, it's yes. a personal interest. Uh, my personal interest, yes. Okay. Mm. So I, I gather then mm. that at Hokkaido University, mm. um, especially on agriculture, because this started mm. as an agriculture college. Yes, yes. And over the years, it has then improved on mm. its offerings for agriculture courses. Mm. You're very big on agriculture. Mm. Uh, just take us through like the main campus and your department of mm. veterinary medicine. Mm. Your department of veterinary, veterinary medicine, how old is it? Uh, uh, how many students does it admit in a year? Uh, okay, so on, okay, undergraduate programs mm -hmm. for the veterinary medicine. We are actually, you know, divided from the one uh, agricultural school mm -hmm. into the school of agriculture and the school of veterinary medicine. Yeah. So then um, I think that is uh, 19, 1960 something. Then um, the school of veterinary medicine. Yes, yeah, school of veterinary medicine. Now mm -hmm. is the undergraduate student, the forty undergraduate student in a year. And uh, 24 um, postgraduate students in a year. It's, a, it's not a very big school. Why? Yeah. Uh, okay, so we have uh, we have 17 veterinary schools in Japan. Oh. <laughs> mm. So, so then we are producing 1,000 veterinarians in a year mm. all over the country. Mm -hmm. Let me ask this question. Yes, please. Now in Kenya, mm. do you have any institution that you're partnering with? And a partner. Yes, uh, collaborating with. Uh, we are just seeking about in the collaboration. Mm. Actually, uh, yesterday I visited the University of Nairobi. Uh, now it's a big surprise that you know, the, the uh, vice chancellor of the university mm. is from the veterinary school. Mm. Then we had uh, some talk about it. Maybe next visit of myself to Kenya, mm. I visit the veterinary school. And also, um, Another thing is, um, um, actually, I have, uh, I'm, I'm running a government project to support uh, clinical studies in veterinary medicine in University of Zambia. Then, you know, we put some new equipment there. That new equipment uh, could be used for surrounding country or sub-Saharan, uh, sub -Saharan, not southern part of the eastern part of Africa. And, and you know, uh, regional veterinary schools can use those, you know, equipment. So maybe... And that point, you know, we collaborative, you know, uh, use of new equipment. Mm. Uh, I mean, collaboration uh, among uh, 
Japan, Zambia, and Kenya, mm. uh, we can make. That's what I'm thinking. So, so that point we just discussed with the vice chancellor of the University mm. of Nairobi. Right. So what do you see in terms of potential when you come when here um, in Kenya, in different parts of the country, by, in different parts of the continent? By the way, apart from Kenya, what other countries then do you seek out students to come to Japan to be able to study? I guess that will be the first part. Um, I think, you know, basically, mm -hmm. um, you know, the student who access to the higher education institute in, on, on, in African continent, mm -hmm. Uh, they are basically very good. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very selective, you know, selected students uh, could work, uh, could study at the higher education institute like uh, um, the University of Nairobi, mm -hmm. uh, and the University of Zambia, in the University of Zimbabwe, and in Namibia, mm -hmm. and Botswana. Is, I think a, a, any country... Anybody you know, can come, any, essentially. Any, yes, I think so. Right. Yeah. So then what kind of student are you looking for? And, um, I, and, I, and I say this be it, asking um science students art students mm. here we're talking about sciences but mm, what kind mm, of students yeah. are you then looking for who yeah, can yeah. then apply it's 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 generally you know it's our, our university professor uh, we are always think about you know it's a high potential student mm. mm. uh, you know of course um different you know the um, this, uh, educations in the secondary schools uh, they are in the Africa, Africa, Asia, and Europe and America mm. is a different system. So I think you know the the time of admission, sometimes is some some specific subject mm. is not very easy for the African students. Mm. So, but you know that potential. If you know the potential is there, and it's comparable to the you know the good student to other part of the world, I think it's that is enough for mm. African student to mm. come to Japan because I'm sure that you know. Uh, my, uh, my lab actually 17, 18 uh, student graduated uh, to get uh, after getting PhD. Mm. So, th honestly speaking, the best student of my lab it was from Zambia. Mm -hmm. I have you know the many uh, I have students from many other mm. other part of the part of the world, mm. but you know, still you know Zambian student was the best. Mm. So, you know one of the things about what you're saying. Mm -hmm that strikes me is we have very many institutions in this country but mm. somewhere along the line mm. we have agricultural colleges mm. we have people who've studied veterinary science mm. but it doesn't get prominence mm. it is not one of the subjects of faculties that is talked about mm. and yet we as Kenya mm. we believe that we are an agricultural country mm. now mm. an institution such as the one mm the university you come from. Mm. Could you tell us how it is that that university and institution has helped with A, research into food production, food and animal production, mm -hmm. within Japan? Mm. What it is that the training and these thousand people who you release every year, mm. how it is they contribute to this? Um, you know, the... Okay, so you, you said that it's about Hokkaido University. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So then uh, if we accept many students from Kenya, that's what, that's what you asked me? No, I want to know mm. first of mm. all about Japanese students who study agriculture veterinary science mm. in Japan mm. and then who work in Japan. Mm. How that has contributed mm. to A, research and production of food, mm. which includes research into veterinary science mm. and how that has helped what we call food security in mm. Japan. Mm. Okay, so I can say that, you know, um, and the graduate, graduates of veterinary medicine, it's worked very well, it's, you know, it's contributed too much, you know. I think the veterinary medicine, and I mean, student from the veterinary medicine is kind of the, you know, multiplayer. Mm. Is in the in the basic research, mm. and also of course in the treatment of animals, mm. and of course you see control. You say that food food security. Mm. Then you know it's a controlling the you know, transportation. I mean uh, logistics of the animal product to mm -hmm. other countries. If you can control, you know, the very nicely, like FMD or some uh, other, you know, infectious diseases in the country, yeah. you can export. And also, you know, the veterinarian 
and the veterinary specialist with the PhD degree, you know, one who are who are you know, negotiating with the, you know partner countries mm. to accept your product. So the our veterinarians are working very well, and also you see the uh, graduate from the agriculture school. They are working very well. I Does the so. university have any interest mm. in marine life? Marine life, yes, fish, yes, and everything that is in the yes. sea, yes. Uh, actually, uh, we have a school of fisheries, and you know that, and, and also that they are they are handling you know the catching fishes mm. and the you know, culture fishing mm. uh, fishes, and also you know uh, pure water uh, you know aquaculture. So yeah, they are they are you know very interested in uh, producing you know that kind of things. Mm. I thought I thought that you know the marine animals means mm. like uh, sea lions. <laughs> 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 it's not the fishes. Yes, yes, fish. yes, yes, yes. Fishes. Yes, yeah. They, they, are, they contributed very much. Mm. Let's take a break. We continue the conversation shortly at uh, half past eight. Professor Masahiro Okumura is the uh, director of the Hokkaido University Africa office. Hokkaido University is one of the oldest universities. No, it is the oldest university in Japan, established in 1872. And they're saying we're open to taking in students from Kenya and from across Africa. This morning, we're having a conversation on the prospects of going to study in Japan and also prospects of working and living in Japan, should you wish to. The Japan, uh, the government of Japan is interested in this, in encouraging universities and telling universities, take in students from across the globe. Let's be open to students from across the globe. And the Africa office is doing a lot of that. We'll be back shortly with a conversation. Good morning. This is the Situation Room, the only way to start your day. Well, the Study in Japan Africa program is uh, helping us have this conversation today with Professor Masahiro Okumura from the Hokkaido University. He's the director of the Hokkaido University Africa office based in Lusaka, Zambia, talking about picking, um, opening up applications for students from Kenya and other parts of Africa to join this and any of the other 700 universities in japan now what's the procedure for getting to study in japan so i um in some ways of course um you may uh, get you know the scholar government scholarship uh, japanese government scholarship from the embassy of japan it, it would be the easiest way mm. to get into the japanese uh, universities and if you uh, on the process of the screening of the of the applicants of mm. the, to the government scholarship, you know they can decide which university they are going to study. Uh, but mainly, you know though, uh, that you know, scholarship is for the postgraduate studies. Mm. So in in the case of the undergraduate studies, some government scholarship is available for it. But still, you know, you may, you may uh, communicate directly with the university. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we, universities, uh, some universities have the English spoken course, courses for undergraduate studies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, maybe that, you know, the courses should have you know, their own uh, scholarship. At the same time of the application and also uh, application uh, for admission, and also, you may uh, you should make you know application for the scholarship. So, um, so you apply this at mm. the Japanese embassy. Uh, it's, it's government scholarship. Okay. So then, um, other ways like uh, Hokkaido University yep. for undergraduate, we have the special international student selection. So you may apply that that point mm -hmm. and, and send your application to that you know selection mm -hmm. then you may have the you know document screening and after that interview they may have some examinations mm -hmm. but some co some you know the courses requires you know some skills of the japanese languages mm -hmm. but some courses just you know english uh, to, uh, spoken courses you can enter directly and also you know some in you know, a mixed you know the courses like uh, Starting from the hundred percent English, mm. then you know there's Japanese, you know the training on mm. the way. Then when you graduate, you can speak both, you know, both uh, Japanese English and, and Japanese. English. Yeah, so, so, so yes. there are some courses where yes, they yes. will begin with the hundred percent English. Yes. yes, but then later on, as you progress, mm. they'll start in introducing Japanese. Yes. yes. Uh, language of instruction yeah. yes which means that by this time you should have learned japanese mm. yes 
So are there parallel Japanese courses that you'll yes. be learning? Yes. So, um, uh, excuse me, can mm -hmm. I? Yep. So there's parallel Japanese courses that you'll be learning as mm. you do this. Yes. And then are there, there are some courses that require 100% Japanese understanding yes. Yes. by the time you're being admitted. Mm. So how do they test your proficiency in Japanese? Uh, Japanese, you see, um, and in Kenya, mm. uh, there is, uh, you, know, the, you know, Japanese, you know, the schools, language schools. Mm -hmm. Then you can have, you know, some training at the school, uh, language school. Then you, can, you may have the, you know, Japanese, you know, the test examination. It's also, you know, is, is taking place in the Nairobi. Mm. Then you get, you know, that so-called N3. N2 is the level of the Japanese. Mm -hmm. If you pass that, you know, the um, specific, you know, the level of Japanese skills, and uh, which, you know, meet the uh, uh, requirement of the respective courses. Mm -hmm. So... So language is not a barrier to no, you to no, be able to no, get your education. No, no. So for like at Hokkaido, for example, mm -hmm. are all courses taught in English? Mm -hmm. Are all the courses for mm -hmm. getting your first degree, for example, mm -hmm. are they taught in English? Uh, so that so so much so that if I am going to Japan mm. and I don't speak Japanese, mm. I will still be able to study. Yes. Okay. Honestly speaking, if you are in university and if you are joining in uh, postgraduate studies, almost all courses, okay, you can just only English. Okay. But you know, if you are survival outside of the university, <laughs> <laughs> some languages will be necessary. Yeah. And also in some specific courses like. Uh, Japanese studies, yeah. Japanese histories. You may, you may, you may have. You have to have you know, Japanese mm -hmm. skills uh, even in, in the postgraduate studies. Right. And, but you know, otherwise, you know, that the whole natural science related courses, and almost all courses accept you know English only student. No, I agree with you because mm -hmm. I sometimes wonder. Someone lives in this country for ten years. Mm -hmm. And still cannot speak Swahili. So you, <laughs> so it's like your visit to Kenya was a waste because mm -hmm. surely even if you don't have to learn uh, in Kiswahili, mm -hmm. at least speak the language. So why then go to Japan mm -hmm. for five, six years and you do not know Japanese? Mm -hmm. it's, a, mm, it's a wasted opportunity. Exactly. Yes. It's wasted. Mm -hmm. Prof, how much does it cost to study in Japan? Yes. Um, it it's depend on the courses like uh, you know the private school yes. and private university and the uh, national university. Uh, I think you mm, you'll be surprised. Uh, you'll be surprised. You know, in the for the national university, mm. half year two thousand US dollars for tuition. Half year. Half year. Then one, one year is four thousand US dollars. So four thousand USD. The USD per year. Per year, yes. In the public university. It's public university. Wow. Yes. And what about accommodation? Okay, accommodation is depend on the place you are you are living. Okay, mm -hmm. the so cheapest, simplest cheap, place, okay. rural, most cheap. rural place. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I told you that I have, we have seven hundred universities. Yes, and even in the very you know rural the areas, you know, <laughs> there are <okay>. universities. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, honestly speaking, our university Hokkaido, yes. the Hokkaido University is you know uh, located in the northernmost island. Mm -hmm. Then you know it's all the city, but I think. Uh, Seven or so six, fifth, six, six, seventh, you know, biggest uh, city in Japan. So our cost of living is not very expensive. Mm -hmm. mm. Then uh, maybe accommodation is per month be um, or for the students mm. is two hundred US dollars. Oh, for like a flat, two hundred per month. Yeah, yes, like flat. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, if you are lucky to lucky enough to get into the you know university accommodation, mm. is maybe maybe one third of that you know mm. cost. So when you say that the cost of living is not very expensive, not this will all be relative, of so, course. Um, so like, what are we talking about? Cost mm. of living, um, mm. food, yeah, food, yes. transport. If you're living outside yes. of the campus, getting yes. to school. Yes. So what would you put that on an average, average for those who don't get you know, housing? So you know, for the Japanese student, uh, they accept you know maybe six hundred US dollars per month from mm. their parents for everything. For everything mm. from, uh, per month. Then of course you see you may add some you know your pleasure. And also you are studying, mm -hmm. you are buying books, maybe some more, more cost to be necessary. But, uh, now, you see, you know, I'm, I'm calculating uh, on the basis of the current, you know, exchange rate. Yes. You know, you have Japanese MP2 in a week now. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so about 600 mm. USD a month. Mm. 
your living expenses mm -hmm. and then 4000 a year mm -hmm. that's your tuition yes and this is just at Hokkaido University but yes. you're saying on average this would be the tuition would this would be at the average on all public universities mm -hmm. yes about. yes i think i think that is yes and that compares a lot to what we have right in the, mm -hmm. in the public universities mm -hmm. in the country mm -hmm. about uh, annual fees uh, so it, 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 I want to still focus on Hokkaido mm. for a bit. How many African students do you have in Hokkaido University at present? You know, that due to the you know the uh, due to the, uh, the pandemic of COVID nineteen, yeah. the, you know the you know, international rate and number of international students are changing a bit. Mm. Uh, but for the African student currently, maybe about eighty african student mm. in the entire university now what's the student population the entire student population in hokkaido uh, okay entire, uh, international student to be two thousand then out of two thousand the 80 are from, from africa. africa yes okay how easy is it to you know interact with people in in, in japan so you've gone into japan you're an international student mm. you speak just basic Japanese let's just say you know the basic mm. Japanese you know arigato and mm. calling people son mm. <laughs> you have that basic mm. how is it would it be for you to interact with other people and, and to learn and uh, I think the language you know what I'm uh, asking here is I'm, yeah. I'm asking are the Japanese people welcoming yeah you know <laughs> okay um, remember that uh, last uh, 2021 we had the uh, Tokyo Olympic Games yes so uh, and some you know the participants uh, came back from the Japan to their own country. What they said that, you know, is uh, some, some uh, you know, most of them said that, you know, what is the best in Japan mm. is hospitality. Mm. So in, uh, the people uh, should be very kind, even for the, for the international students. They don't care about, you know, the, the origin of the country. No, they are always, you know, they're very kind. Even if they, they can't understand you know, English, mm. they try to understand English. <laughs> yeah. So maybe these days, uh, maybe, you know, the, some, you know, the application. Google Translate. Yeah, and other. Yes, yeah. <laughs> at the use of home. Mm. <laughs> One of the things that uh, has always been interesting with the collaborations, mm. especially now with the country of Japan, mm. Japan is celebrating this year 60 years of collaboration mm. with this country, mm -hmm. Kenya, yeah. which means they've been collaborating, but yeah. in very many ways, mostly through JICA. Yes. In all this time, mm. there are two things that have stood out for me. One, mm. I look at some of the Western countries mm. and they will have a center mm. where somebody can actually learn the language. Mm. The Germans have one, mm. the French have one. Mm. Now, is it policy within the government of Japan mm. to set up centers where one can learn Japanese mm. within mm. the countries where they collaborate? Mm. I, um, I'm not a politician. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm not, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm a government. <laughs> but uh, still, you know, the, the, the real, uh, real situation is that, you know, in the Korea, in uh, in in china mm. and the southeast asia uh, we have many institutions uh, who provide you know mm. japanese language training that we send you know the japanese teachers mm. uh, to those in you know, areas mm. but here in africa so um, uh, honestly speaking like in kenya and also uh, maybe south africa then in the senegal uh, actually we have some you know the japanese uh, certified Japanese teachers, mm. so they are they are you know providing you know the good training for Japanese. Then I think I think Kenyan one is uh, allocated in the uh, Jomo Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, so um, and in Zambia, uh, some Japanese courses are run by the volunteers, Japanese volunteers. Okay. So so but you know the government itself, you know, they do not have you know. Uh, much, you know, input, so there's no institute, no like, institute like we have the Gotti Institute, the uh, Lyons from say the Confucius, mm -hmm. not okay. like that, not like that. Okay, how many of the students that have come to Hokkaido have remained in Japan to then pursue a career? Mm. Ah, you, you see, the you know, African student, yes, yes, yes. African student, yes. Um, I think, uh, it's roughly, roughly 
Uh, it's a country I can I can count in Hokkaido University. Mm -hmm. It's one is as the as a you know associate as assistant professor, and then the other one is maybe you know every year three or four uh, African students are remaining in the univers in the universities mm -hmm. and uh, the postdoc uh, positions and also the uh, academic staff. How many go into the private sector within Japan? Private sectors are a bit difficult to say that, you know. Mm. Um, you know, the veterinary medicine is a bit, you know, the different for you. And, but, you know, school of engineering, there are some of them are working in the private companies. Mm. And uh, like, I mean, but, you know, the rate would be maybe less than 10% mm. at this moment. Okay. But, you know, that is why the government, you know, encouraged students uh, to try to, you know, apply Japanese in the companies to work. Oh, okay, to stay yeah. in Japan and work. Yes, yes. Okay. And do you, sometimes universities mm. or, you know, institutions of higher learning mm. track their students after they've graduated to kind of see where they land. Mm -hmm. So if they're not staying in Japan, have you been able to see, it kind of gives, you mm. know, value to the education that you've given. Mm. Have you then been able to see that those who've graduated, where they've gone, mm. what they're doing, after mm. they've had um, mm. a Hokkaido uh, education, for example. Do mm. you do that to be able to see what happens after they graduate? After the graduate, some of them, yes, we can, we can trace, you know, what, what is happening after that, you know. That, but most of them at this moment, because the number is not so many, mm -hmm. and, they, you know, they are coming from the Higher Education Institute, then, and also some of them had the kind of the, the position of the Staff Development, development Fellow. Mm -hmm. the, those, uh, those, you know, students should be, come back to the each you know institutions than to be a uh, academic staff mm -hmm. so um, i think in the number uh, of of uh, the students who are going to be academic staff uh, is a bit big now okay mm -hmm. what would you give as advice to somebody who's applying mm -hmm. to join any of these japanese universities mm -hmm. and then there's that interview process mm -hmm. what advice would you give somebody so that they can ace that process Ah, yes. <laughs> so, honestly speaking, I was a uh, uh, chairperson of the uh, examination committee mm -hmm. up, to, up to last year mm -hmm. at my school. Give mm -hmm. us then, yes, you know, <laughs> we did not care about, you know, too much on the academic, you know, the conversations. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the, uh, we are trying to see the motivations and, you know, and uh, what uh, applicants want to do. You know, mm -hmm. clearly that, you know, the indication, would be, mm -hmm. clear indication would be necessary for examinees, examiners. So I think motivations and the clear explanation. How do you gauge okay. that? So it's not about the academics. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I have an undergrad and I'm looking for a postgrad mm -hmm. and I'm looking to get into a PhD program. Mm -hmm. You don't really care about mm -hmm. what you look at is, yes, you have qualified. Mm -hmm. The next is the character of the individual. Yes. How do you yeah. gauge, how do you judge the character of an individual? Uh, in a you know, it's my uh, own experience. Hmm. I can say that, you know, it's, it's a bit too much, you know, motivated, <laughs> too much, you know, and power uh, mm. to, to too, explain. Too energetic. Yes, too, a bit ag uh, aggressive. Uh -huh. mm. We'll be a good student in the future, in, in uh, later on. I mean, and a student who applied, uh, who, uh, who had the interview, mm. the interview uh, aggressively, you know, expressing, you know, what, what, applicants uh, would like to do mm. then that should after entering the course that that kind of student mm. becomes you know very motivated and very you know improved mm. very much improved student student so express yourself yes when you ask a question respond not just mm. with one word not just mm. yes i want to study in japan <laughs> <laughs> it's why because i have an undergrad in in mm. medicine mm. I think yeah, I mean, yeah yeah why <laughs> so you you want somebody who will come and give you longer answers to show you that they are actually passionate about mm. this program oh, yeah. and what they want to do but you know not too long okay <laughs> not too not long, too long. And, uh, and generally speaking mm. uh, my expression my, my impression mm. is the african student a bit modest mm -hmm. <laughs> to express the, what they, mm -hmm. they are thinking ah. so like like japanese okay <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> does does the uh, Hokkaido University have exchange programs mm -hmm. with any universities? Let's start with Africa, then we'll come to Kenya. Where, yes, we have people going to Japan, but also you have students from Japan mm -hmm. coming to, mm -hmm. whether it's Zambia or Kenya or mm -hmm. some country that you... Mm -hmm. 
、Yes, you know,、um, in Kenya, don't Hokkaido University,、mm. but some universities like、uh, Nakasaki University,、mm-hmm. uh, which has the、uh, collaborative research you know, station with Kemri,、yes. um, they have you know, exchange program. They send in Japanese students. And also, they accept a Kenyan student. Okay. And、uh, Yamaguchi University,、uh, School of Veterinary Medicine,、mm-hmm. they have a you know, exchange、um, agreement with the veterinary medicine at the University of Nairobi.、Mm-hmm. So, it's, and also, Hokkaido University,、uh, I'm, I'm sure that I don't, we don't have you know, clear agreement with the Kenyan universities.、Mm-hmm. Uh, we have the you know, agreement with the University of Zambia, University of Namibia. University of the, uh, uh, Pretoria and Johannesburg and some other universities.、Uh, but no, uh, on the basis of the agreement, like a、uh, uh, university exchange agreement,、mm. uh, we can have a special scheme named the HUSTEP、mm. to accept you know, the short term exchange student、mm. from you know, partner universities. That agreement we have with the University of Nairobi.、Um, so、uh, this year, I think uh, one uh, Kenyan student is going to Hokkaido University、uh, on that scheme. Right. Or something like this.、Mm. Have you heard any, what kind of feedback do you get from your African students、mm-hmm. after they finish、mm-hmm. their studies、mm-hmm. and after interacting with the、mm-hmm. uh, Japanese、mm-hmm. society? What do they tell you?、Um, generally, very much positive. <laughs> and also,、uh, you know, they said that you know, the Japanese society, As, you know, and the student, you know, they are always under you know, good discipline. That's, you know, the word. So, that, that's what they did. What, what do you understand that to mean?、Mm-hmm. What, what, what do they mean when they say the Japanese、yeah. people、uh-huh. have discipline?、Uh-huh. Like、uh, you know, the punctual, you know,、uh, you know, the working and、uh, you know, punctual, you know, the pleasure、yeah. and many other、mm-hmm. things. You know, it's always on time、mm-hmm. and also you know, prepared nicely. Then, you know, Prof, can you actually? Are, are you able to convert up when the people come to Japan?、Mm-hmm. They get that discipline of e s p e c i a l punctuality. Time. Time. Punctuality. Because I'm even seeing very many comments here.、Wow. Um, <laughs> somebody says, I work in the tourism industry、mm-hmm. and the level of discipline that I witness with the Japanese is on another level.、Mm-hmm. So many comments are mentioning Japan、mm-hmm. equals discipline.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Africans, do, do, of course, when they come the first few days, maybe they're not even on punctual when <laughs> entering there. But do they, do, they, do, do they pick it up?、Are、I we, think so. I think so.、Mm. So、yeah. there's a transference of culture, is what we're saying here. <laughs> yeah. Possible. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, we still look at、uh, Japanese mm. society, mm. Japanese mm. culture mm. as highly conservative mm. still. Mm.、Uh, so would you say that there is an infiltration of culture, even while、mm. you're get, getting an education?、Mm. Perhaps that now、um, goes to what we're seeing here.、Mm. That there's almost a culture injection, even while you're going through the four years of, of、mm. your education, you'll be out and you have more than、mm. a diploma. Mm-hmm. Would that be something that you see as well? Yeah, I think so.、Mm. Yeah. Do you think the Japanese are able to learn anything from Africans? And what is it that you are, for example, have been in Zambia for a while, you have、mm. interacted with African students that you're、mm. teaching?、Mm. What have you picked up from Africans?、Um, yeah, you know, these days I feel that, you know, as I told you, that you know, the African students are so modest. y e a h know, h e s very quiet. Then,、um, Um, but you know, there you know, is really want to study more and more. You know, if, if I provide something, you know, some subject,、mm. then I explain about the, you know, the problems and,、uh, and the way of resolving. resolving.、Mm. They start asking me many, many questions.、Mm. It's much, 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 much more than you know, Japanese students.、Mm. So I think you know, they, want to, they want to have the knowledge and the skills. That you know, motivation is very much high, very much, you know, and very, you know, above very much, yes, above, yes.、Mm. And, uh, and uh, yes, if Japanese students could, could be in the African society, and like African students,、mm. that would be good, you know,、uh, maybe experience for them.、Mm. So maybe, you know, she said that, you know, our culture is very conservative. Yes. Yes, we keep, you know, the system. That is why we want to send students out. So, that you know, scheme、uh, which had、uh, Yamaguchi University has with the University of Nairobi,、mm. that is、uh, one of the aims 
to send to the student expose to the you know other culture mm. mm. uh, is really important for us because I, uh, I we are very isolated country on the islands you know, <laughs> mm. you know we are protected protected by ocean mm. but uh, you know <laughs> it's difficult to you know interact with, with others, with others. Yes. have you ever wondered why it is mm. the african students you've interacted with mm. are so eager to learn and to understand mm. Mm. have you wondered why um or have you asked them why yeah, I, sorry, I did not ask them, but I, I guess that, you know, the information <coughs> they have is very limited. Mm. Like, uh, you know, and even textbook, which they use, is a bit old textbook. Mm. So, uh, because, you know, maybe renewing is not very easy. Mm. And that is why uh, we provided some, you know, e uh, electronic books to the <laughs> University of Zambia. Then, but still, you know, you know, the information, it's information is always renewed, even for us. What I, what I studied in the past mm. is already changed everything. <laughs> so, you know, you know, as a scientist, as, as a, you know, the, okay, the student who are studying in university, yeah. you need to renew the inform uh, knowledge uh, all, all the time. So that, you know, the process is not easy for the African student currently. Mm. So that is why uh, they are, you know, very much want to do I want to get you know, more and more information. Because, That's what I because we understand what it can do. Mm. You see, mm. if one goes to Japan mm. and they look at what the Jap Japanese society is like, mm. they will understand immediately mm. Japan got there. Mm. And so one will understand that the opportunity of being in Japan gives them also an opportunity mm. to do things that can get them exactly mm. where they are now. Yeah, yeah. A student in Japan, mm. they're Japanese, mm. it is their country, mm. Things have been done. They take it for granted. Yeah, well, it's there. So, so you know. <laughs> so, the, the idea to send for the exposure, yeah. it is actually a good plan. Mm. Because, you see, one of the things that often happens, mm. if, if you look at societies and most of civilizations, mm. civilizations get to a point where now they start declining. Mm. And the decline gets to a point, often begins when people feel they have arrived. Mm. So the, the need to really try isn't quite there. It's not as much as no. for the others. No, it isn't. Study in Japan, you also can explore the opportunity to live and work in Japan. Go to www.studyinginjapanforafrica.com. You'll get more information there. That's www.studyinginjapanforafrica.com. You get more information about all the universities, 700 plus universities in Japan. Hokkaido University is one of the biggest ones, and Professor Masahiro Okumura is the director of the Hokkaido University Africa office. He's been telling us about the programs that they have and encouraging you to go to that website and see the various courses that are available and when you can start applying. Prof, thank you very much for joining us. Asante sana. And for all the information that you've shared with us. And yes, it's possible for you to get scholarships, either government scholarships or each of the individual universities have also scholarship programs. Just go to studyinjapanforafrica.com and get more details. Good morning.